this is where the most of your glute muscle is going to sit. Is right there, which is why we need the extra space here. Not only do we have a glute muscle, but it's got a function. Okay, on this side, on your out seam side, we are going to work with our hip line. <clears throat> and we're going to start on this side, which is right in back center crotch. This was H. Nope, just kidding. This was F. We are going to measure into the pant three-fourths of an inch. And this is going to be our new E. This is where the pants get kind of weird. Then you are going to take your hip circumference line, which is the same distance that it was on the front from E to F, except for you're going to start at E and it's going to extend out beyond the back of the pant because we just shortened it by three and seven eighths of an inch or three fourths of an inch in the front of the pant. Okay. So if my distance from F to E was one, two, three, four, five inches, and I'm starting here, one, two, three, four, five inches, my new F is right there. Which number are we using? Your hip line off the front. So E to F off the front. This is the front we're doing. No, this is the back. This is the back we're doing. <laughs> and the distance should be the same because you traced the front. Sorry. We're just shifting the line off to the side, starting it further in, ending it further out. Oh, okay. That's all we're doing. Absolutely. Okay. okay. From D to your new F, you're just going to draw a straight line. So from D to F, straight line. Now, when you try on these slopers, once you've made your muslins and you try them on for the first time, if the fabric is tight in the glute muscles and you need to add less than an inch total, add it to the back only and add it right here to just get a little more curvature. I haven't had too many people who have that problem. But if you have a Nicki Minaj curve, you might. If you have typical Mormon seven kid curve, you're not going to need to add anything extra because <laughs> your glute muscles down here, <laughs> it just elongates. Okay. This point up here where our crease line intersects at the top, that is G. Our original point here is R. This is off the front. <clears throat> I'm only marking those two points so that we can rebuild the crotch line and the waistline. I need to know where those two are. We're going to find the mid time, midpoint between G and R. So I have like an inch and a half, so I'm going to be right here, somewhere in the middle. That is going to be I. So 
This instruction is my favorite one out of all of them, especially because this book has been so precise up until this point. Are you ready for this? You are going to draw J between an inch and a half and two and a half inches from G. It must fit between I and R somewhere. That's the instructions. So you're going to draw between an inch and a half and two and a quarter inches from G this direction. And you're going to put in J. But J must fit somewhere between here. So your distance has to be at least long enough to pass I. That's what they care about. So for the book to be that precise and then for this one measurement, wing it. Find a spot somewhere in here that you like. We don't care where. And put in J. Okay. That's really all they're saying. That's awesome. G has to be that yep. It has to be coming from G. It has to be at least an inch and a half. It has to pass I. <laughs> Pick a spot. Sometime between I and R. Plop J in the middle. I guess if you if it's saying for two and a quarter, that would pass I. If it passes I. But it leaves it like really close to I and really far from R. And that's okay as long as it's past I. Okay. Cool. <laughs> it's amazing these pants fit. Okay, you're going to draw a straight line from J to E. You are going to draw a curved line connecting B, which is our point out here on our crotch line, all the way up to E, remembering you really want that J shape more than a u-shape more than a v-shape you really want that j so the instructions say start at b and draw for about an inch before starting to curve upward and you just want it to connect to i uh, to e can you see how that gave you a much longer crotch shelf there in the back We're so close to being finished. At this point, I need you to have your front slopers available. Because we need to measure from your hip line to T on the front. Remember our front, our hip line, not our hip line. It's our, wait, 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 give me a second. Okay, from P to T, I need to know what that measurement is on the front. Okay, so if I measure from P and I'm curving around and I'm measuring all the way to T, once I have that distance, I'm gonna measure in a straight shot from D, making sure I hit F, straight shot. 
and that becomes K. You see how it's really kilted off to the side from our original hip line? Is that better? See how this is our original? <clears throat> I took the distance from my knee line, which is P, to my hip, which is T on the front, whatever that distance is. And I measured that same distance in a straight shot from D all the way to K, making sure I hit F in the process. 